Hey guys, it's Charles Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. So, here he is in his tank mode. So, yeah, pretty cool run. So, yeah, here we go. We got Megatron. This is the Core Class version. Uh, so, it's another downsized Transformer, but I, I like it. I, Again, I've always been a fan of the little small Transformers, but you can have the bigger ones. You can also have the small ones, because for all that's actually the thing I collected. And I even made a skit with them, or a few skits with them back when the channel first started. But, uh, yeah, but anyways, they're pretty cool. So it's cool that they kind of have these going on again, especially with, again, the new Titan Class arc, which now we know for sure is happening, uh, because, well, it was revealed. I did the, I think when I did the Core Class Optimus review wasn't revealed yet. So now I can say that's probably what these are for. But anyways, then we got Megatron. Even though Optimus so far is the only Autobot they made, unless if you count the Bumblebee from Buzzworthy Bumblebee. Uh, that I guess is, I guess it's supposed to be the Core Class Bumblebee, but they just put it under a different line. But anyways, so... If they admitted that, then it probably won't be as much of a shelf warmer, because every target, it is a shelf warmer. And you say, look at the details here, is Megatron tank mode again, as per usual. Now, like Optimus, they used, oh yeah, visible head syndrome, yeah, that's, yeah, kind of looks a little odd, but, um, but hey, we gotta focus on the top. But anyways, yeah, so basically, uh, like Prime, they basically just downscale, or they use the details to kind of replicate the design of a figure. So in this case, I mean, pretty much for all of them, it's their Earthrise counterparts now. Uh, unlike Optimus, I do not have the uh, the Voyager Earthrise one, because I never saw it. Uh, it was probably the least interesting. I was just like, okay, I mean, it's just another major one, but... Uh, but yeah, so I didn't get it, so I won't be able to compare that one, but luckily I do have the Siege version, which, you know, but this one's probably the most different out of the bunch so far that they made, you know, Optimus, Starscream, Soundwave, like, they all take their designs from the Earth, Earthrise kind of parts, and when Soundwave comes out, I will be able to compare that to the Netflix Soundwave, which it's based on, because guess what, I got it a few weeks ago, or a month ago, so yay, but anyways, as you can see, he's got this gun thing, we'll go into that later. Uh, but yeah, you can raise this up, and about this far, and then you can also rotate the turret section all around, so I do like that. And uh, no wheels, so he just slides, but I do like the silver paint they use for this. It's pretty nice, actually. So Yeah, pretty nice all around. So, yeah, but anyways... Uh, and not too much I'll say, no, again, no cards that come with the core class figures, so, uh, yeah, I didn't get any new cards, probably won't get any cards until wave three, but hey, it is what it is, but anyways, now for Bearson, here he is with the core class Optimus Prime here, let's see how they look, uh, here he is with the Bumblebee, Core class Bumblebee, I guess you could say, and why not? Because there's a little spike. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I'll be using this as my core class Bumblebee. So I guess that's what it's supposed to be used for. And finally, or not finally, second to last though, we got just some other random core class. We got Myrtle Break and Rat Trap, just because they're from the core class uh, wave figures. Yeah, there you have that. And finally, uh, here it is with the Siege Megatron. As you can see, a giant tank and a little tank, pretty much. But I can't compare it to the uh, the Earthrise one, because this one doesn't have the treads uh, at all. Not really, but the Earthrise does. At least mold it on my figure. But uh, all around, not too bad. So, yeah. There have the tank mode. Yeah, not much going on. There's not too much paint on the top. Not actually, not really any paint. Uh, the treads are painted a nice silver. That's that's pretty much it. So the paint kind of lacks. I got a little paint splotch over here, uh, intentional, because it's supposed to go on my hands. 
uh, which I guess it can count maybe as paint, another piece of paint in the alt mode, I don't know. They kind of cheaped out on the alt mode for paint, but hey, it doesn't look too bad, it's a tank. Well, I guess I could use more paint, but anyways, for being a $10 core class, I don't mind. That was much, so. But anyways, for transformation, you just want to simply remove the gun piece, which we'll look at later. And then, what you want us to do now, is you want to split apart, yeah, I know parts form, right, but anyways, but going for those no parts form, so you just want to split this out, per usual Megatron, and then pull this piece around, and then, uh, just rotate this around the hand, so it gets to, oh, <laughs> right there, so there you go, and it's Rotate around the fusion cannon. You can do it both ways. It's kind of a click there. There you go, a few clicks. And then next, just unattach these back leg pieces. And then extend them out. Like so. If it will. Come on. Work with me. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Do it like that. There we go. So you want to make sure that's strained out and then click this in. Let's see that again here. So as you can see, you just gotta oh, <laughs> guess I didn't learn a lesson. Alright, right, there we go. So you just wanna there you go, do it like that. Just don't click through there. Start out. And then click in. And then next, just wanna rotate or actually wanna put this back up around here and then swivel around the waist. And then next Wanna pull these arm sections out at the same time you wanna put this back section out. So you wanna clip in these sections here. Uh, these tabs will go in that slot right there. Same over here. I just wanna make sure this folds back. That'll clip in. And then you can do it. Alright, and then finally, I just wanna rotate around the slower piece so and it shows this way. And once you got that, there you have Core Class Megatron in his robot mode. And yeah, this is a very little Megatron, so it's a Minitron pretty much. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. I do really like the design of this. Uh, definitely looks like human Megatron. It's got a little bit of a darker look, but still, I really like the design. Especially right here between where my fingers are and then... Kind of like that. That arrow right there. That's really G1 Megatron. Of course, you're going to get all the tank kibble behind where we're in here, but hey, eh, I guess it's a nice little unique design. That kind of carries over from the uh, Earthrise Voyager figure. So, yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Anyways, let's, take, let's give a look at those details. So, you got the head sculpt. I think that is easily the best G G1 Megatron head sculpt of all three G1 Megatrons that were done in the Worf Cybertron trilogy, which is, of course, Siege Megatron, Earthrise Megatron, and, of course, now the Kingdom Core Class Megatron. Of course, we did get another Megatron, that being the leader class one, and that was the Beast Wars Megatron. Uh, so that doesn't count, but in terms of that, I think that's the best head sculpt. Like, wouldn't you agree? You, you just wish that this is the head they use on Earthrise Megatron, inflate it, and then not too much really about this this wide, and you just want to put that on the Earthrise Megatron because it's so cool. It's very very nice done, and you got nice silver on the helmet section, and even on the face. It's a little bit layer on the face, but so uh, and you got nice red paint there, and then you got nice silver going on the chest. And with uh, a Decepticon logo, and you got nice paint over here, you got red on the sides, you got silver in here, and you got blue, yellow, red. Very, very nice on the, the paint work. And then what we got the legs, it's pretty dull. And I like, it's kind of funny, the inconsistency here, you got black here, and then you got a uh, dark gray here. It's kind of odd. Uh, and then, back, you just got that nice tread silver. I, I really like the silver they use for that. Very good, and you got backpack there, but it's kind of oddly shaped. But with the toy, of course, these would pieces would fold in, so that's kind of why it looks like that. 
And then you got the fusion cannon. It's not removable. It looks like it is, but it's not here. Here, let me try. I'm not, I'm not even acting. Look, see, it's not coming out, uh, which is fine. Maybe if I didn't intentionally ever take it out. Uh, so yeah, very nice. Articulation. This head can move around like this. And then arms can go out. Well, on this one's not so much, I guess, right there. You can go up that far, about there, if you do it like that. And then you can go forward this much. And then he's got uh, ball joints for the elbows. So you can get nice movement all over there. It's got wristable. It's very tight it's because of well, transformation there. Uh, only on this arm. He doesn't over here. That being because of transformation. Uh, he does have waist swivel. And then his legs can kick out. Kick back and then kick outward. Very far, actually, and then his knees do bend well, on a ball joint, and he doesn't, like Optimus Prime, he does not have ankle pivots, uh, which is unfortunate, but hey, it's a small figure, it's probably not possible to get done, or it could be, but just with a little more engineering, of course, it's not going to do it on this $10 figure, uh, so you can tell it's more of a budget kind of thing, which is not too bad for a $10 Megatron. So yeah, overall, pretty nice, and this is untabbed. So very, very nice on articulation. Now, uh, accessories, well, other than the fusion can, but it's not really accessory because it's not removable. Uh, an actual accessory, because the core class figures come with at least one or two, in Starscream's case. Uh, and I guess in Soundwaves, or maybe three, I forgot. I need to look at that figure again. Uh, it's kind of hard to show off the holding. Yep. So he's got, comes with this uh, pistol here, and it's basically a Walther P-38, which it, like, it kind of resembles that, aka the gun that he turned to in G1, which is quite interesting. When it was first revealed, a lot of people were like, whoa, this looks exactly like it, because you got the barrel that that's very, very G1 accurate to look, and then you even got the uh, scope right here, which... Is supposed to be in G1. It was his fusion cannon, and they even designed it to look like that. So I think that's real cool. And yeah, you know, overall, it's not totally Jim Negger because it doesn't have the thing, the little loop that goes all the way here and doesn't have the stock, though sometimes they use that. Uh, but yeah, but anyways, you can attach it in both hands, like this will do in this one since he's already got arms on his arm. So yeah, he's got arms on his arm. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So you got, you can have a little Megatron, so you can, so if you don't like the tank mode of this guy, you can just pretend he transforms into this little gun, which is pretty cool. Now, an another thing that you could do with this guy to kind of replicate his G1 design, though I kind of don't like it as much, maybe, I don't know. There's these two holes on the back, and you can attach, simply attach it here, I'll just attach it here, just because. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of used to look like his G1, because, again, he turned into a gun, so, uh, where would the, the front area would be? It would just be on his back, which, it's quite clever in here, but when you realize he turns into a tank, then what's, what's the point? I mean, I get, I mean, this is the same barrel he uses for his tank, but still, I mean, kind of does make sense, but, yeah, but yeah, kind of, I do like the G1 resemblance on the front, it looks fine, but then when you see it's a tank, it's not as much. Uh, that was good, but hey, uh, I guess it's probably the best storage because you can get a nice little G1 resemblance going on. So, very, very nice around there. So now, there you go, let's get this statue in here. Alright, so now for comparison, here is what the Core Class Optimus Prime. So you can see, and they look, yeah, I really do hope they continue doing these uh, core class figures, like, outside of Kingdom. Because I really like having these small Transformers kind of make, kind of make a comeback. Uh, here is with the Bumblebee, and why not Spike? So this guy's by in there. And fine, or, I, <laughs> again, not finally. Uh, anyways, uh, here, here also is with uh, other core class figures, the non G1 characters downsized. There you go. 
Uh, by the way, Vertebrae and Rat Trap. Again, if you forgot, but anyways, finally, here he is with the Siege Megatron. So they're together just to see Megatron and Minitron. So, yeah, there you have that. So there you guys have my review of Transformers or Subtron Kingdom, Core Class, Megatron. So yeah, very, very nice figure. Quite surprising for, again, a Core Class. Uh, yeah, really like this one. Definitely recommend, and I do like the little inclusion as well of this gun. I uh, wish I had maybe a little more paint, especially in the leg sections, really right here. Uh, maybe the feet could have been painted. Uh, so yeah. I mean, hey, <laughs> it's ten dollars. It's a budget release, pretty much. It's pretty much what these are. They're budget releases. Uh, so yeah. hey, it's good if you can. Don't want to buy a thirty dollar, forty dollar, fifty dollar, whatever transformer. You can always get these. Pretty much same looking figure, almost just downsized and less articulation. But you still get quite some articulation going for these. So yeah, there you have that. So always make sure, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and share for more. Uh, comment down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you like him or not? Let me know down below. And again, till all are one.